In this question, we need to determine the magnitudes of velocity and acceleration. Let's write down what we know from the question. We know the angular velocity, the angular acceleration, and from the diagram, we get the equation representing the position of the peg. To find the magnitudes of velocity and acceleration, we need the time derivatives of our equation. So we will start there. Remember to use the chain rule. This is probably the hardest part, but as long as you remember the chain rule and you take it step by step, you can get to the second derivative. If you don't know how to do this, there is a link in the description below. Now it's just a matter of plugging in values into our magnitude of velocity equation. We're finding these values at 30 degrees. To get r isolated, we just need to take the square root of both sides. So let's start plugging them in. Though the magnitude of velocity equation seems small, when we start substituting the equations in, it becomes a very long equation. It also means there are more places to make errors. So I'm going to do each section separately. What I mean is, I'm going to find the values at 30 degrees for the first derivative, second derivative, and so on. Let's start with the r values at 30 degrees. Now for the first derivative. Next, the second derivative. Since we found all the values, we can start plugging them into our velocity equation. Let's do the magnitude of acceleration using this equation. Again, we will plug in values that we found earlier. Solving gives us our answer. Thanks so much for watching, and if you have any questions, please comment below.